What's up everybody? Hope you had a wonderful Wednesday. This is kind of a late night Braves Anatomy because I was working, but I wanted to come on here and talk about some fun sports coming back news because we all need that right now. Uh, the NBA is coming back July 31st and I'd like to applaud the NBA for handling this insane situation to the best of their ability and quickly and efficiently coming up with it coming up with an, a, a solution to get sports back, a nice distraction and a nice escape from what's going on right now. So just great job at the NBA. Unfortunately for the Hornets, they did the most Hornet thing possible and that's the only way I could describe it and miss out on the new format by one one team, twenty the top 22 taken, Hornets number 23. Sounds about right, but uh, I'm going to take a positive spin on this because I am super pumped up for the future that uh, the Hornets have because of a renewed faith in the front office and the great talent evaluator Mitch Kupchak and what he's been able to do in the last couple of drafts, finding gems in the late round. Devontae Graham, who's turned into one of the best young point guards, uh, probably should be the sixth man of the uh six man of the year or most improved player not six man sorry most improved player and then you got terry rozier who started to play that scary terry mold that he was with the boston celtics after he got out of um kimball walker's shadow and just started playing terry rozier basketball that's a uh duo that i can get with um field court generals that i can get with for a long period of time and then you've got uh, the Martin Twins in the second round. Junkyard Dogs will do anything. Like the new Gerald, Gerald Wallace type will take charges, will get down and dirty to get the basketball, do anything to win, take a concussion. Uh, Cody Martin took a brutal concussion, but he just wanted the ball. And that's what you want on your team um, that way. And then you've got... Jalen McDaniels, who's had some sparkling moments as well in the, excuse me, second round out of San Diego State, plus the mid-first first round gems of Miles Bridges and P.J. Washington. Miles Bridges kind of having his aha moment. I belong here when he won the MVP of the Rising Stars Challenge, and he had a stretch where he scored at least uh, 15 points in 20 straight ball games, just kind of found his footing. And along with that, our entire team found their footing with the rotations and um, learning how to win those close ball games. Um, whereas earlier in the season, we were blowing 10 point leads, 15 point leads on a regular basis. Those are the growing pains that we went through. But James Brago, was willing to let us do that. He's the perfect uh, coach for this young ath young team that has oodles and oodles of talent. And we were finally seeing that come together. Um, and I can't wait to add on to that in the draft and in free agency. The big key is if Nick Batum will opt out of his contract and give us some salary relief and ability to add like a Christian Wood or a Hassan Whiteside um, to go to pair with Cody Zeller um, in the middle. Cody Zeller is a great center. His bones are just glass sometimes, so uh, we might need some extra um, backup there. But Cody Zeller is a great player. So just some somebody to add at the four would be a great add, and it'll depend as well what we do with Malik Monk, who uh, was coming into his own, but then got popped for Ped, so that's a little up in the air situation. But Nick Batum being, not being on the roster would be key for us, um, definitely. I hope he is able to go somewhere else and find his footing because he's still a capable NBA player, and he earned that contract with a ton of triple doubles the previous year. It just hasn't worked out. And I think we all need a change of scenery. And it would really help the Hornets 
rebuild in the long run. And I just feel like we are, there's a light at the end of the tunnel for the Hornets. And I'm just super excited for it to come to fruition. And hopefully we might get some lady luck on our side with uh, the draft. Although the odds of us getting the top pick in the draft are very slim. And if we couldn't get it when we were 7.59, I doubt it. But with Mitch Kupchak's talent evaluation ability, not too worried. Just very happy with the direction we're going. Thank you, NBA, for bringing it back for us. I know it's a couple of months away, but something to look forward to. Sports are coming back, baby. Now, NBA or MLB, uh, balls in your court.